Hello everybody, Gary Man here, and today we're going to build funnels. I'm going to show you how to use click funnels to build funnels, to build sales funnels, to create what we call landing pages, highly converting sales funnels as you can see here. So what what is a funnel? A funnel is a journey that you're going to take a customer through. You're going to take a buyer through in order to make him or her a recurring customer. What is the and what is the landing page? So a landing page is simply a page one page with one specific call to action. Not like websites where I have all the tabs, many tabs at the at the top about me, home and etc. The landing page only has one one purpose and one call to action. So let's let's click click funnels here. Let's type in click funnels in Google. Click Click the link there. All right, this is the beautiful page of ClickFunnels. A lot of information here about ClickFunnels. What is ClickFunnels? What is a funnel? Okay, a difference between a website and the funnel. We have ClickFunnels gives you all the tools you need for your convenient and some testimonials here. Some people who have used ClickFunnels and have made a lot of money with it. And what funnels what what click funnels can help you do for example can help you generate leads a lot of leads can help you sell your products everyone wants to sell his or her product or service right you can create follow up funnels or follow up emails with click funnels okay follow up email is some is simply simple an email you send to someone who has maybe purchased something from you or maybe they went to the checkout they, they try to buy something and they did not complete the checkout funnels work for any kind of business any type of business any type of company whether you want to grow i think you can see the list here whether you are an agency freelancers e-commerce coaching consulting local businesses if you like you could take a quiz here and then click funnels will help you choose the right funnels for your business okay you just follow through these steps but for me i know the funnel which i want to use i'm going to use my home my home button to scroll back up i can even click on this button here so i'm just going to click this 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 nice button here start free 14 day trial just click here all right now to create an account you will need to put in your details here and then just click start building but for me, I just created a free account. I'm just going to click member login. All right, let me put in my information. All right. Now this is your dashboard. And there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of stuff going on right here, but I want us to keep it simple for this video and just click this nice green button here, build a funnel. We want to build a funnel. I want to build a funnel with you. I have a lot of funnels here, but what I'm looking for is the squeeze page funnel. But before we click the squeeze page funnel, let's click on the on the product launch funnel so that we can get we can get a, a we can look at how a funnel looks like. Okay, just an example before you go into start editing. So you have you, you when whenever you click on any of these funnels, each funnel has different templates that you can choose from free templates. They are also paid down here, there are also premium designs down here. But this design, these, these are called designs which are free. I also have this button here, which is the funnel map. Now the funnel map, let's click on it and then and I'll show you what this does. All right, now the funnel map shows you how your funnel looks like. Now a funnel, a funnel is basically a series of pages which which are uh, you can use to sell your product or service, and each page has a specific call to action. Okay. But remember, the first page is where you are going to collect the information from the customer and then you can use that info information for, maybe you can put it in an automation or you can put it in a follow-up funnel. Then you can move the customer to the second step because if you don't collect your, if you don't collect an email from the customer or phone number or their name, then the next step, they might, they might even not go to the next step. Anyway, so the next step is where I can also tell the customer more about the information more information about the product and then you can maybe sell them something similar to the product that you sold them and then out here 
So yeah, they check out the next page, the product clutch order form. It's where they place their final order after these ones. Now you can call these ones upsells or downsells. If they happen to buy the first item, you can give them an upsell, which is something good or something similar. Maybe they bought one cup. You want to sell them 10 cups at a 50% discount. Okay. And then the downsell, in case they don't buy this one, you can give them what you call a downsell. If they, they don't like the if you don't if they don't like the discounts they don't like the downsells can then they can then check out so that's like the map of the funnel and each funnel let's click this back button here each and every one of these funnels has a map which you can look at and see what how the funnel is built so let's look at the the funnel map for for a lead magnet Now, as you can see, a lead magnet is very simple. The only purpose of a lead magnet funnel is to collect a, a lead. A lead, as I always say, is just a simple contact of someone. If it may be a phone number, it may be an email. Okay, and then in the thank you page, and this and this thank you page can also contain different things. It can contain another offer, or it can uh, it can be a video talking about what they should expect after they have submitted this form. As usual, you can get the information from here that they, are give, they have given you to follow up. Maybe you give the number to a salesperson in your team to follow up with the lead. Okay, so let's close this out. Let's go to the funnel that has brought us here today, which is the squeeze page funnel. Which I scroll, which when I scroll down, I can see somewhere I see here. So today, we are going to create what we call a squeeze, a squeeze page funnel. And by the way, when you're look, when you're looking for a funnel that fits your industry, you can always look at these buttons here to filter. For example, if I wanted funnels that that work good with e-commerce, I would just click e-commerce, and then I have other funnels filtered out. I can also click type of funnel that you will generate leads. Then I have all these funnels. I have the lead magnet which we have looked at, which is specifically of collecting leads, like email addresses or phone numbers. We have the squeeze page funnel here, which we are going to look at. We have the bridge funnels. So let's just go on. Let's just go on and click on the squeeze page funnel, so we can look at how to, uh, how to build funnels. Let's jump into how to build funnels. All right, you can always watch these videos. They are always nice. Russell well, so Branson, the man himself behind Click Funnels, explains everything. So there are there are three steps to create funnels. The first step is for you to choose a template. The next step is for you to edit, to customize the template. And the third step is launching your funnel. So let's start by choosing a template here, which is the first step. I'm going to choose free here. And then I'll, I'm going to look for a nice one here. Let's just go with this blue one. Or oh, this nice pink one. Let's go with this nice one. All right, cool. Now here we have our pages. This is where you see the pages that are in the funnel. Remember the two pages we saw in the map, the squeeze page funnel, sorry, the squeeze page and the thank you page. If you look at the map for the squeeze page funnel, you can see the only purpose here is to collect the email, to collect the lead, send it to, to an automation, send it to a follow up funnel. And then the thank you page is where you thank the customer for for giving you their details and then you tell them what they should expect nice let's just click on get funnel all right so let's move on today to the next step which is step two customizing the customizing your funnel building the funnel up just click on edit page and we are going to we are going to see some magic here right nice nice very nice very nice i think you can see Notice these nice buttons here. You notice how I can already move something down here, and I can also move it down here if I don't like it there. Notice how I can drag and drop things around. Very easy to edit. So just like that, we already have something. We already have our website to start from. The only thing we need to do is just 
do some editing just do some drag and drop work i can put it back there if i don't like it down there i can just click on this logo and then i have all these options here i can go in and change the logo from here i have already uploaded the logo for me but you can always come in and if you don't want a, a logo there you can change the background from here you can also choose from stock where you have badges you have icons you have shapes you have lines you have all this cool stuff here and if you are uploading maybe a map or the at the bottom of your contact page or something like that and another cool stuff here is dragging and drop you can just drag and drop items here or you can use the upload button here to upload something from your computer okay and then after you select the image that you have uploaded and just click add image all right so you can see my nice logo up there that's the first step and if it's too big you can come down here to the image width and give it maybe i want to give it 500 or 1000 now in some cases you don't want to mess with the with the height and then you can even put a link to an image you can always use these buttons to see how how your item will look like on a mobile very nice right let's go back to desktop and then i show you something else I don't feel, I don't even think I need to show you anything else because you already you already see how easy it is. So the sole purpose of this page is to collect an email here. If I want, I can choose this image and just click the image and click upload. I can look for an image in the stock, or if I want, I can even drag and drop an image up here. I think the image is a little bit small but you can work with it you can just come in here and change the text maybe we change it to let's say let's change it to get this you can say get these secret photography tips free maybe it's a download that you want to send to their email here okay so let's uh, reduce the size you can just come to this small small gear icon here if you click it you have the option you have all these options to edit the font from here or to edit the size which i want to reduce a bit here i think that's nice okay i can also click on this background click on this settings icon here and then i can change the background color to something maybe i want to choose some nice green that's that resembles the the green up there i can also put some maybe let's say some nice orange Let's try that and see. So I think the logo is too big. You can always reduce it here. And the next thing you do after editing all these things up, next thing you do is just click on preview. And now, well, <laughs> my bad. So sorry, I forgot to save. Always save your your file before you preview it. So the save button is up here at the top right corner. So always remember to save your file before you before you preview it and then i click on preview again all right there we have our changes <laughs> nice right so the person will come will come to your page with the sole purpose of changing the or putting in their email and no other buttons that are going to divert him or her that's the best part about click funnels that's the best part about what we call landing pages and ClickFunnels is one of the best at this. Now there is something we didn't edit like the pop-up. If we go back here, notice we have all these buttons up here. And most of these buttons are creating are for creating elements. Let me show you something here. Notice how we have this orange line, this orange box, and then we have the blue one. Okay. We also have the green one, the green one outside, depending on the elements that we select. Some of them might have only the orange and the blue. The orange is always the element. The blue one is for creating columns. What is this plus uh, this plus button here, which which say which says add new element. So if I click add new element, <coughs> can add things like text, which I can click and drag here. Okay, but I can also use these controls here, like the clone and delete. We 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 looked at the move. When we move the logo 
before we changed it and then the settings where you can edit the text and the font and things like that so let's just delete this one for now so what I wanted to show you is when you click on add element <clears throat> if you want to add an element from here you can also use these buttons to add elements you can use these buttons to add rows or columns the same same with the sections you can use these buttons to add sections call to actions example if I click actions notice how I can bring something like this drop it here so click funnels has different options of creating things now something else very cool that I would like to show you before we sign out for this video just click on this exit button here to go back to the dashboard and then if you come to this button here this is the page where you sign up for ClickFunnels and then you get the affiliate links which you can use to promote ClickFunnels and then if you scroll down here there are all these products that you can promote as an affiliate some cool stuff here like traffic, traffic secrets you have the one funnel away challenge you have the, the dot com secrets you have the expert secrets all this cool stuff you can promote now the best part is here if you just click on login to your dashboard notice how we already have an account with the click funnels for affiliates for affiliate marketing now when you sign up for click funnels you have already become an affiliate for click funnels without even doing anything else so your dashboard is always here for your affiliate you just come in and click on affiliate tool links to promote any of this you just come in here and look through these products and see which one you are interested in promoting for example let me say i want to uh, to promote the expert secrets sorry the traffic secrets book just click on affiliate tools get my links so right here is where i get the link copy this link and then i can scroll through and look at some of this cool stuff that goes along with the traffic secrets book you have the audio book we have the two events video you have the, the box sets as upsells so these ones are all like upsells remember how we have talked about upsells and downsells okay so that's that's some cool stuff there and then you have these images here you have all these other affiliate tools for social posts your website for blog stories for down here you have all these emails to send to your to your audience if you want you can also get the videos for example if i just click on this video here i can just right click and click save video as and take it to my downloads so that's for affiliate marketers i'm going to close this for now since i've already got my link so that's how you can start promoting click funnels as an affiliate marketer anyways i'm going to click the click funnels logo to go back to the dashboard and then one last thing if you come to account settings it's a nice place for you to edit your business to go add more details and the account billing is where you can check out the cool stuff that comes with the free offer for example you have 20,000 visits or visitors to your page and then you have a hundred pages free hundred pages and then you have 20 free funnels so for me I've used three of them so far anyways you also have these page templates now these ones will be the templates that you have saved some other cool stuff is the integrations you see with the click funnels you can add different integrations with the click funnels you can be able to integrate different apps for different purposes for example you can, can connect a get response if you want to let get response to handle your email sequences you can even connect Facebook if you want to run some ads via Facebook. You can connect HubSpot. You can connect Mailchimp also for for email campaigns and all those things. You can connect Shopify. You can connect your store through this Shopify button. You have all this cool stuff here. So you can also come in and, and filter using the exact action that you want to take. Maybe you want to integrate email marketing. Just click on this button email. Click funnels will find all of them depending on depending on the tools that will help you do some email marketing and all that cool stuff like convert kit. If I click on SMS, there's tools for that. 
if you are doing things like e-commerce you might need to come into to this button here payment gateways and then you might need to add a payment gateway you might need to use stripe or paypal if you're working with clickbank you can connect your clickbank to receive your affiliate marketing commissions and by the way if you want to learn how to use clickbank for affiliate marketing i made a story about it check out the video in the description one last button here is the domains which is very important so in order for you to launch your funnel you will need to add a new domain from here this domain will be connected to your funnel and this is the domain that you will be copying and sharing on the social medias okay so i can say use an existing domain or you can choose a domain and buy a domain from click funnels let me try this one so it seems like the one i want is already taken but if i wanted to buy this one I can just click here then you can click on pay but since for me i already have a domain i'm just going to go back to domains click add new domain you got to use an existing domain then i can put it here and click add domain and the next part will be for you to connect your domain to click funnels using the domain name registrar by that i mean the one that registered your domain so you can read about the detailed instructions on how to connect the domain or you can say i've already moved the domain and all those things and then you can come to this page good job you did it my human is connected ready, ready for use and then the next part is for you to select the fan which you have created and add it to your domain so i'm going to click on this drop down to select the funnel that we have created I think we forgot to name the funnel, but I'm just going to select this one. Then click associate funnel. So that's how you launch your funnel. By going to your settings, account settings. Now let's check out profile settings. Now profile settings is where you have things like changing your password. But you also have this cool thing here for managers. This is where you are going to be adding the managers. To add managers, you have to go back to the account settings and go to sub users. Now, this is where you invite sub users that are going to help you manage your website by putting in their email and then clicking send invite. All right, you can invite someone to help you build the funnels. You might be the one sending traffic through the Facebook ads. To learn more about how to send traffic check out the facebook ads video i made about uh, how to promote your facebook page how to post your posts i'm going to click this button to go back to the home page all right so that's that's how easy it is to create a funnel to build funnels and to create landing pages that will convert highly using click funnels so now the power is in your hands the power is in your hands now you can just go on and, and sign up for click funnels start building some funnels sign up for click funnels choose the template that you like choose the template that fits your business choose the template that you would like to use jump in and customize that funnel to fit the look and feel of your business next thing is you launch your your, your funnel and start getting those leads start bringing some sales for your business all right and by the way if you want to check out how to use Facebook ads to promote your products or services or to push traffic, a lot of traffic to your website. Make sure to check out the link in the description. It's run FB ads. It's in the resources link. And also, if you like the video, if you learned something, I hope you did. Let me know in the comments. Share it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next one.